All right, well, let's cut out. I'm going to cut some little tender tubes for inside the, the box with the char. And this is basically a jute wax. Don't use cotton because cotton absorbs water. I'll braid that up, three strands, braid them up. They'll slide through here. I'm going to flare the ends of that. And then that'll slide through there, and, and then they'll, of course, I'll dip that in wax and then put it inside this. And that will give me a, a jute um, stick and a tender tube is what they call it. And I'm going to use just a Harbor Freight tube bender, light duty. Just use some quarter inch, uh, you know, ice maker line and, you know, roll that goes a long way. Boys love this. And uh, you get that print still going, put that tender tube down in there and blow into that and you'll get a fire going. So let me get them flared out. Alright, of course the way this thing works is you put your tender tube in there flush with the top of your deal and it fits in the slot that it's designed for, which in this case is quarter inch. And you put your little um, flaring tool in there and it turns clockwise just a hair and then that locks the two fingers in, fingers in, and then you can crank it down and flare it up. Let me get that done. All right, got two or three terms, just puts a little bit of a flare on it. All that does just makes it to where, you know, you insert the thing in there, slides in and out. It don't have to be much of one. All right, that's what she looks like when she's flared up. You put that on there, just in right here. Slide it up in there, and away we go. All right, and there it is. All we got to do is braid up a piece that fits in there, and, uh, We'll have a tender tube. Let me get her done. All right, just took three strands of jute, braided them up like you would your little sister's hair or your, and so nowadays probably your little brother's hair, I don't know. Anyway, three strands of each, just over to bring the outside over the inside, the outside over the inside, and then pretty soon it's all braided together. Main thing is that it's all uniform going across there. And then of course I just tie a figure eight on the loop at the top of it, and uh, that'll keep it ready to go and then at the end of it, you just tie one overhand knot at the very end of it. You don't want it very big so that it'll slide through, and that just keeps it from unraveling whenever you get it waxed up. So there you go, and there's our goods. I've got some boys that I'm going to be getting uh, this lined out with, so probably the next couple weeks. So I'll bring that to them, and they'll get that. i got like a kid of five, so I'm a pretty good group at one time. All right, you take those braided little guys and you put them in a hot plate outside, not near a burger alarm or a fire alarm because it might set that off, speaking from past experience. Anyway, uh, put it in a double boiler or this pot that's a little bit bigger and it's got some water on it. You remember that it's going to, when this gets in there, it's going to expand then when it starts boiling. So don't even probably quarter a turn, but you don't want that to dry, you're going to dry. And then that's the wax and you know, while you do it, make you some little fire starters that you can throw in your tender kit for a fire. Uh, wax is a messy thing. It will get all over the place and uh, get all over everything you got. So do not do that in the house. Do it someplace that you don't have to uh, worry about it. And then this is our tender tubes. This is a, all this is is a whipped piece of copper pipe that's been string whipped just like you would whip the end of a rope then you dip it in plastic that basically gives you a hot pad so when that thing gets hot and you're sticking it on there and it burns up this will isolate your fingers from getting burnt so but i generally will let it run i'll run it up there once or twice and then that'll last a long time i mean there's there's a there's a thousand lights in that as a candle and uh what we were doing was just fluffing the end of it I told the boys fluff, 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 and then uh, when you use the metal. All right, now this is our uh, AJTC group, and we have been teaching them very important things at this uh, training. And the key word here is, what is it, guys? Fluffy. Fluffy, okay. So they have made these metal matches. We're going to count down from 10 to 1, and we're going to see if they can all get their fire going with one strike, all right? Count, countdown starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Get it going, guys. We got one fire over here. The three guy with the three. He came up with a with fire. Okay, we got two fire ignitions. Or three fire. Hang them all up. Hang them all to the right. Point up the, the, the light of Jesus. All the way as top as high up as you can get them. Come on. Stick them up in the air like you're volunteering here. 
We're teaching on volunteering. All right. What do you guys have to say about this? Fluffy. Fluffy. All right. You did real good. Fluffy. Match. Of course, this will be flint still, but fluff it up a little bit and then stick it down in your tin with your char and blow it and it'll vaporize that wax turn into flame. So there's that. And that project's coming along just fine. So be careful with wax. Do not leave it unattended. And again, do not put it anywhere that you'll get because it'll sprinkle and splatter and get all over everything. And dedicate pans to it. And get you a tin can. It's an old pan, an old pot. Is trying to clean that up is just nearly, yeah, it's hard. So I do not recommend that. Just get one that uh, you can dedicate to it and just keep them together. I have a whole box designed just for that. All right. Tender two fit in the little tin. Plant steel, some char cloth, and that in a box. I'll uh, basically put the, the little tender tube and the flint steel in one box and then the char in the other boxes. So you basically would put your char, keep your tin about half open, put your char, strike it on your your rock. I, I generally put mine up here on there and then put a piece in there and strike it. Drop it in right in there. Then take your candle and blow it into a where it vaporizes the wax and it goes poof into a fire or you could use your tinder tube which is just a wax uh, tube this has got a uh, kind of like a heat uh, mitten on it and all that is is just a whip strain and anyway that goes in there and, and you can pull and snuff the fire out by pulling the string and pulling the cord down through there and just get your fire down on the end of it of course you know with two hands it's a lot easier to get things done Anyway, so there we are on that, and all this just packs back together.